Now, I'm going to talk about a film that, to this day, is divisive, it's hated, and it's one of the most controversial films ever made. And it is the 1978 classic, I Spit on Your Grave. Now, I used to rent this a lot. I remember the VHS cover to this. Um, this is the original 1978 director's cut. came out the same year as Halloween. And uh, it's uncut, uncensored. This movie is crazy. Um, in ways, I think this is more divisive than um, The Last House on the Left. That movie involves, you know, rape scene. But I still think the rape scene here and like what she does is even more disturbing than The Last House on the Left. Um, I'm not saying The Last House on the Left wasn't disturbing. I just think it's more disturbing here. It's like raw footage. Like the footage is just, it's, it's just crazy the way they did this. Um, uh, Camille Keaton uh, plays Jennifer Hills, who is a city girl that um, she basically rents a like a house or cabin in the backwoods. Um, she's writing her first novel and then she's attacked by these group of low lives. Um, you know, they're kind of like hillbillies. Um, and you know, she's a threat, you know, she's attacked, she's raped. Uh, she's basically fully naked and stuff like that, walking around. Um, and you just, you really feel for her. You, you want her to like, just, just escape, just, just leave. And at some point she, she does, she leaves and these guys kind of like, just move on. And then she just shows back up and one by one starts to kill these guys in revenge. And it's the way she does it. The way she kills these guys is just so it, it it puts a smile on your face because it's well deserved. These guys deserved the harshest death um, after what they did to her, and um, it was like true justice, you know. And I think it's divisive and stuff, and people hate this movie because of the rawness of its the the rape. Um, it's it's very gritty, violent, brutal kind of uh, like I said, like like raw. It's just it really has it doesn't hold anything back really. Um, it's still one of the most controversial films. I mean, next to like Fatal Attraction, that's still controversial as well. But um, you know, Last House on the Left, the original I'm talking about, is well talked about in this uh, in this instant, like compared to this. Uh, but I like this movie. Um, but yeah, she starts to kill these guys one by one. Um, you know, she's in the bathtub with the leader, the guy who is kind of a head of all the all the uh, the, the the group of guys that rape her. Um, she's in like the bathtub with him, and she tries to like get on his good side. And then she cuts his his dick off with a knife in the bathtub and he's bleeding all over the place and she just leaves him that way. Um, that was like a Lorena Bobbitt moment there, but like I said, well-deserved. Um, that was a good scene. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, you know, she's in a boat and she has this, this hatchet, um, and this guy's in the water and she, she's, you know, going really fast by him in the boat, trying to hit him and then hit him with the hatchet and stuff. And then, um, there's a guy who is, I guess he, he's kind of like a special needs guy. Um, he's not really all there. Um, she, what she does to him is kind of crazy too. Um, you know, she tricks, she tricks him into having sex with her. And I'm not even sure if he does. It almost seems like he does. Like she's out in the woods and she starts to say, she's like, come here. And like, he, he goes over there, he takes off his pants and he's just making out with her. And like, then he gets on top of her and it's like, he's having sex with her while that's happening. He puts, she puts something around his neck, like a rope and then hangs him. 
so it's like it gets crazy like the stuff that she does now the remake which i think came out in 2010 is actually pretty good too and that was a good take on it and the way she kills those guys in that movie is it's it's pretty different than what she did here but um they made a sequel to this and uh the 1978 one in which really sucked but this is also called uh day of the woman aka day of the woman um you know it's a movie about uh you know a woman getting her revenge on uh you know guys who take advantage and and rape uh but it's it's really kind of an eye opener in ways um Oh no, I really I really like it. You know, strong women have been around forever, right? You push the strong women narrative today and shove it down people's throats. Just watch this movie, 1978, right here. Right here, a strong woman who gets justice her own way. Um this has the audio commentary with the director. Um there's a lot of stuff here. There's Values of Vengeance, which is like a remembrance of uh, the movie. There's an alternate main title. Um, really, really cool, guys. Um, yeah, if you guys are looking for a good revenge flick, this is definitely at the top of the list here. Um, they've made other sequels to the remake. There's I Spit on Your Grave 2, and there's three. Um but yeah, this one, in my opinion, is the best one. So yeah, people talk about this still to this day. I remember renting it, at, like I said, at the video store. Um, but yeah, very, very good movie, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So yeah, that's my review of I Spit on Your Grave 1978, the same year as Halloween. Um, I think Halloween is definitely a better film, but um, that's definitely a good revenge flick, though. So that is my review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's a recommendation. If you have not seen the movie, definitely check it out. Um, so stay tuned for more reviews. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.